Here are some uh, almond mookies in different patterns. I thought it would be a nice thing to do a video of them. So you got a. These are two birds, two of my breeders over here. You can see one with a patch on the side. All are cockbirds, so I'm taking. I'm doing videos of all cockbirds. That is one of my other one. Uh, I believe these two are two years old. It's a young bird from this year. Look at that almond monkey over there. He's a uh, almond spit for brown over there. He the stupid, the stupid, the brown. And here is a another stipper over here. It's a beautiful bird. I cannot wait till next year to see how this bird is going to develop into. This bird is going to be very interesting and he's also split for brown and you can look on his tail. You can see one brown tail feather over there. He's going through more and this is just a pure stipper over here. Oh perfect. I'm glad this guy came over here. These are three young almond cockbirds from this year. I got more almond cockbirds but they're in the other loss. Um, I gotta put them inside like a cage or something to do the video which which might not be idle because birds might get stressed and try to fight it won't be perfect but uh sort of three young cock bird look, look at this guy he's even on the on his neck that brown color so yeah perfect like i would say this is the best one that i raised of the almond cock birds that i raised this year so but I do a video. And here's a perfect, another beautiful ball head roller. That's an indigo. That's an indigo. Indigo, which is a version of Andalusian. And this bird is out of a blue ball, blue ballless ball head cockbird and an indigo bar hen. And that's a cockbird. So he carries ballless and bl young black ball head roller over there. But anyhow, I thought it was very interesting to see the, the this guy is perfect. It's a, it's a perfect one over here, I like him. A lot of cock birds. He's, he's very unique. I like the stands of this bird way better, the crest and everything compared to this bird, but uh, next year anymore, the color might be interesting to see how it changes. Like if you... Uh, he's, he's gonna be very unique, look, he's gonna be a very unique looking bird. And... Uh, this bird over here also split for brown. I'm gonna mate all these almond cockbirds to brown hens because I have uh, plenty of brown bar hens. Matter of fact, I think uh, I might uh, just look inside the loft and look for some hens over here. Uh, ooh, I have some brown bar hens. Oh, yeah, there, you go. there is a brown bar hen right over here. Scash this stuff in and throw it in there. Look at that. That's, that's a beautiful, a beautiful brown bar hen right there. That would be an excellent mate for one of these guys. Let's see, I think I have one more brown hen somewhere over here. I'm gonna figure it out. There you go, there's a, that's a brown. That's a, that's a fully brown over there. 
I have one more brown bar hen. Oh, there's a look at that. It's a brown check hen over here. I got plenty of browns in my lap. So, but I know I have one more brown hen from this year that I raised. Let's figure out where that hen is. Hiding somewhere. Birds are a little bit mad because it's nighttime and they're. Yeah, here you go. There you go. No, I know my birds. Come on, get out, get out of here, buddy. There you go. That's a beautiful brown bar hen. Yes, sir. There is it. Another brown. There's a young bird from this year. It's a beautiful bird. I raised two brown bar hens this year, and they're stunning. But I got enough, uh, plenty of uh, options to choose from. I'm most likely going to use these two brown bar hens. But I do like this. Uh, look at that brown bar hen. She's so nice too. Yeah. Who's the other older almond cock right over there? I do like that brown hen over here. She's a breeder too. See? They, they will make a good pair over there. That cock one and that brown hen. <coughs> Anyhow, I thought uh, I'd do a look at look at this. Is a, this is a first brown ball water that I raised. I usually have uh, I have these ballers rollers, brown and blue mainly, and of course you know I have dilute of brown khaki, uh, dilute of blue, silver. Uh, so uh, this year uh, I was mating one of my browns. To blue bar and erase the brown bar as a hen so that is going to be very interesting but uh yeah let's take a look at this brown bar hen or young brown bar hen it's beautiful mm. 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 You see that cock was an older cock bird of mine. Mookie over there, he got a patch. He got a blue patch on the side of the wing. And some of these uh, birds I'm gonna be uh, breaking and, you know, anyway, most of them breaking up, mating in a different way. Like that cock bird will be mated to a brown hen or a recessive red hen. Check ball her roller carrying ballers with a blue ballers cockbird. And that ballers cockbird, uh, he carries opal too, is an opal ballers cockbird. That's a beautiful pair right over there. A pair of blue reversing powders. Mm. 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 Oh. Not in the mood too. What about these guys? Oh, 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 Getting all the dust and stuff. Beautiful, uh, beautiful almond that I raised this year. He carries frost stencil too. I will be mating him to a frost stencil hen. So I wanna, I wanna have some frost stencil almonds, like almonds with a frost stencil patch. Brown ballers roller that I raised this year. Nice, very really nice. See, th this this bird is that indigo that I showed. The carrying ballers. That's a nest made to this indigo over here. It's an indigo with a bar. Look at this bird. 
think it was a blue bar, but it's an indigo with a bar. And it's a nice, uh, he ca he ca she ca that's a female, she carries ballast too. So, we'll be mating her to a blue ballast cock bird. Here, they're talking about Andalusians, here you go. There are two Andalusians right over here. So, here's she, oh, this is a perfect lineup over here. So, you see, this is what you call an indigo, like I explained before. This one in the middle, let me see if I can zoom it, zoom it, this one. This one is called a homozygous Andalusian, which like when you mate two Andalusians together, you get a double dose of Andalusian and you get a silver looking bird and that is a homozygous Andalusian. So this is an Andalusian, but I'll call that more like an indigo. Of course, it flies away. Indigo with a bar over here. There's another, that was an Andalusian that flew away. So, uh, that was a good line I'm right over there. See if I can pull the Andalusian out so that we can have a better view. Andalusian with the hand too. Come on, buddy. There you go. So, there you go. Yeah. That's a young homework awkward over there. Here we go. Here is your uh, it's a nice Andalusian right over there. Andalusian ball head roller right over there. Most looks like black, but it's an Andalusian. Here is a an indigo over here. Indigo with a bar over there. This is, this is an indigo check, and there's an indigo bar, and that is what you call an Andalusian right over there. Beautiful Andalusian hand, that's a hand. Get your brown ballers over there. There's a young boy from this year. There's a hand, there's a young blue ballers hand from last year. just to watch these birds and there's a ballas right over there this is a blue ballas over here but it has a soupy gene that gives it uh, those uh, you know feels like you know it looks like a bar but like or something that looks like an etching or it gives that small like smudge on the wing that's a ballas gene it's the dirty gene that does that trick This is one of the best Indian pantails that I raised this year. Going through the molt. Once it's finished with the molt, it's going to be a really nice bird. Well balanced bird. Good size. Crest looks really good. Also tails quite well. So it's a kite. Kite cock bird. It's going to be a really nice. Uh, anyhow, going back to. Oh, here's perfect. So we have the Andalusian over here. You got the Andalusian the check over there, as the indigo check over there, and that is your homozygous Andalusian. So this is what you get when you make two Andalusians together and get a double dose of Andalusian, like a silver looking bird. So, or you can have like a two indigos made it together and get a bird like that. And you get double dose of Andalusian, that's what happens. But anyhow, I thought uh, a quick video. Some part of this video might, like, you know, when I went inside the coop, might have showed dark, because it is getting dark. It's another example of a sooty, sooty gene over here. You see this brown ball of scotch bird, but it's not a really, you know, perfect looking brown. And you can see the smudge on its body, and that is from the sooty gene. And when you compare it to this brown over here, it's a much cleaner version. And that bird you know the color change it doesn't look that perfect that is because of the sunshine the sunshine uh bleaches the birds on browns on browns they the colors can change depending on how much sun sunlight the bird gets young reverse wing over there trying to flap and fly this guy is real active
I'm going to clean my third uh, loft tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow. So that is going to be one of my things to do. And I will give an update on that loft too. But, uh, sort of, look, I started the video trying to show those different shades of almond with the brown in it and he ended up with the uh, talking about ballers and andalusians that is the life of the bird you know it's a beautiful thing you can change topics real fast the perfect thing to mate like a homozygous andalusian is to uh, blacks they give you nice andalusians you can mate them to other andalusians or blues you can even mate them to blues and you get uh nice andalusians and blues but if you made them to blacks you get andalusians and blacks you can mate them to other andalusian but you're going to get a lot of homozygous andalusians so. <coughs> hoping this homer to be a hen but that uh that almond homer over there but you never know but I think, uh, oh, here's that brown mookie breeder hen. Nice bird. I think I would conclude the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.